over here and I woke hey up Hey everybody, morning, welcome back to Plant Based Homestead Prepping like, where we make prepping yeah, fun and, and as you can hear in the background, uh, we are watching the SpaceX Rocket Dragon and we're going to see what kind of launch we have, okay? Y'all stay tuned. Alright, I figured I would just come in and shoot a video. Just in case... Have an amazing flight. I need to document Enjoy this in any way, historical purposes. So I'm here in the comfort of my home, and I got it pulled up here on uh, NASA. Absolutely, our honor to be and part of this, also uh, on SpaceX and NASA launch uh, time, it looks like. Uh, okay. Well, uh, to and apparently, let's see here. Time is at 8 minutes 29 seconds. <laughs> and the NASA video is at nine minutes. So apparently, um, <laughs> the NASA link is like almost a minute behind. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn them. We're gonna turn them down. Since apparently they're uh, like behind. Our next major event comes at T minus seven minutes. So we we'll come back. Get them cold enough okay, and here is a picture of the astronauts in the capsule. And into the main thrust chambers when we get And the they're doing uh they're doing some checks and everything and like the other day I'm sure they'll get to a certain point where they're like, Okay, it's gonna either be a go or a no go. There's the uh there's a SpaceX. So right now, we are Rocket. I forgot what the name of it was. I just looked Shortly it up a little bit. Alright, the they're starting some kind of hydraulic test. So we'll be back. Okay, so I pulled up another one. This is the YouTube site. This is actually NASA's YouTube site. Uh, and I really, at this point, don't know which one to believe because this is NASA's YouTube site. We're at 6.53, and this is the NASA website, and we're about, well, we're exactly at the same time, and we have this one over here, which is time, and we're at five minutes already. I mean, so, which one should I watch, y'all? Y'all think I should watch the, the present or the past of the launch? I mean, it's cool flipping back through that. That's the capsule itself that's containing the astronauts. And I guess that's what's gonna be shot, and then they'll, you know, they'll release everything, you know, while they're flying. Apparently, they're gonna fly over North, uh, North Carolina, so we may be able to get a glimpse of them here in um, in Virginia. I mean, it's not it's not uncommon for us to not, you know, to not see rockets because uh, they shoot them out at Wallops Island all the time here locally. So we we've, we've seen several launches. Uh, we've seen several rockets. We haven't seen the launch, but we've seen them flying over, actually over our houses. So uh, I will actually go outside. I guess I better put some clothes on. And um, so much time we actually do have. Four minutes, so I'll be back. All right, we're still doing more checks and more balances, I guess. That's what you call it. I am nowhere close to being an astronaut. Do not know the jargon. However, three minutes and 42 seconds. Started <laughs> on the left. You'll see it go back just a couple of degrees. Page one, I'm going to leave. Okay. Page one, I'm going to We are just four minutes away from liftoff. Again, at this moment, Bob and Doug are really just laser focused on those displays. They have insight directly into Dragon and the Falcon 9. They're able to see where their fuel loading is at, how everything's progressing down with the count. AFTS final setup started. I got two minutes, 40 seconds, guys. Three and a half minutes from launch. Oh, and so the strong back up. is now reclining oh. away from the Falcon 9. So we are three and a half. So they're wrong on Time Magazine, I mean, Time website. And I think what we're going to do, I believe we'll set, I wish I had my other I'm tripod. Out. But you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. So apparently we got three minutes till launch. I'm 
I don't know what this is right here. I don't know what this time is. We'll, we'll pay attention to here and see what happens. Dragon has transitioned to terminal count and is on internal power. Oh, they're on internal Stage power. Stage one, locks load, close out, we'll bleed. Okay, we're Pretty T exciting, minus 10 y'all. minutes, 42 Dragon seconds. Stage one, locks load is closed out. Stage two, we'll continue to load for about another half a minute or so. Once we get the completion of stage two locks loading, we have to vent down the line so you'll see another large white cloud coming off of the strong back. That'll be normal. That'll happen People around transitioning to T minus power. one minute and 40 seconds. We're going on internal power now. Just a few seconds away from the stage two locks load People being complete. To internal power. It's been almost nine years since we've been in this position. A lot of work done by thousands of people to get to this point. All our eyes focus on two now. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine being those two guys right there? Look at that. What is that? Stage two, lock flow is closed out. Propellant fills are complete. Dragon is in auto idle. Stage two, lock flow is closed out. Stage two, locks load complete. complete. All fuel, all oxidizer on Falcon 9. One minute, 34 seconds to go till launch. Are y'all telling me that y'all waiting until a minute, 34 target. seconds to fill up this doggone rocket? Is that what I just understood? Hey, they smarter than me. If I'm going on a long I'm trip, I want my car to be filled up like yesterday. And I understand it's going to take them 19 hours to get where they're going. And they're going way faster than where I go in my car, so... Can y'all put some gas in my car before I go on the trip, please? Thank you. I'm just saying. Asking for a friend, you know what I'm saying? Falcon anyway. 9 is in startup. Dragon is in countdown. FTS is armed for launch. All right, so I guess I guess this countdown was just Under fake. a minute now, the FTS, the flight right. turbulence. A bunch of white smoke coming armed. out. What is this over here? FTS, great. Armed for launch. Go for launch. Go for lunch, everybody. We got to go for lunch. Yay. Hey, Dragon. Or go for launch. Let's light this candle. Oh, he says, light this candle. Dragon, All right. Go for launch. Go for launch, everybody. Seconds. Okay, here's the final countdown. Dragon. Or go for launch. Here's the final countdown. countdown. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of excited about this. Alright, safe trip, astronauts. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. And we're going to get a vantage point from all angles, Ten, guys. Nine, eight. eight. Seven. Seven. Six. 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 Now, if they say they're going over North Carolina, we're going to run outside, y'all. Okay. Oh, God, you're just now starting? That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're running down range, y'all. I do know that turn. <laughs> Throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Oh boy. I mean, we're going to really go fast. I have no idea. Reports say all systems are go. All systems are go, everybody. Vehicle is supersonic. Supersonic. Motivated. Rise <laughs> And one D throttle up. Alright, so we're a minute and 15 we're seconds into the flight. Everything's looking good, powers. everybody. Copy, one Bravo. And one D throttle up. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the Max second Q. abort zone that they're in. They'll continue one to be Bravo. on this until the and first they just in there chilling. job. And they switch over to the Light second. Up. At this point, this is a fast Bravo roller coaster. pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 yeah. times the Earth's gravity. Already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. Wow. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 in the flight. Chill. Right now, everything the flight. continuing to look good. Next okay. major event coming up is going to be the triple 
will have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Awesome. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're over North Carolina, y'all. Yeah. M1D throttle down. <laughs> We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And one you throttle down. Look at that. It's making a little design. A little swirl. I mean, I'm sure they're spinning. And we have Miko. Miko. All right, we have Miko, y'all. There it is. Success. Yeah, because they... I did my job and it worked. Yes. <laughs> We didn't, oh, exactly we didn't kill those two. That's exactly what All right, we have stage separation. All right, here we go. The Second first stage minute. beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now. And they're not bomb. shaking anything. Look, I mean, I thought they would be shaking and everything. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage of propulsion is nominal, which will cut off at Seco or second engine cut off at about eight minutes and 44 seconds into Look, I mean, he's able to move his hands and everything. I didn't really, I thought it'd be too many Gs for it. Stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard. All right, we're going to run outside and see if we can't see them, y'all. All right, so we're outside, and unfortunately, we have overcast, so... If they were flying over us, we would not be able to see them at all. So we're going to go back inside. All right, so we'll just come back in here. We'll watch the rest of the lunch on the pewter. All right, let's check the... Uh, okay, so we're getting the same same viewpoint on all websites now. Isn't it amazing how that fuel can burn in outer... Well... Much smaller and much later vehicle in a really high atmosphere. Uh, the <laughs> about to say out of space, gone. but um, what is uh, happening now? A little over four minutes. Can we see their altitude? The Let's see here. They're going 9,000 miles per hour. The altitude is 187. Uh, Already I can't tell that it's kilometers. Oh, all right, so we're going to go away from this one, and I'm going to pull up the audio on... What we should be seeing on the right now is the scene from the first stage, which is descending uh, from midway toward space uh, back toward the ocean. Uh, that appears to be what we are seeing. To the left is... Coming over here. You would see if you were behind uh, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, okay. um, behind the astronauts, toward the instrument panel and the uh, windows in the uh, front of the spacecraft. And for all, for all you First flat earthers, they right. sure do do a whole yeah, bunch of stuff to make sure that we believe that the Earth is round. Look at there. Ignite its engines for landing until it gets closer to the ground. Um, but attitude control thrusters along the flank of the uh, booster. Keep it aligned and keep it. Uh, All right, so we're gonna pull up the audio on the other and guys. And that engine on second stage on your left screen. All right, it looks like it's just wrapped with aluminum foil Again, to me, y'all. Right screen is that first stage booster coming I mean, back towards our drone <laughs> ship. Of course, I still love you. We're about a minute away from entry burn. All right, so a minute away from Meanwhile, entry burn. As you can tell, down here is showing us the it's showing us the flight the timer, path. That's going to continue to burn until eight minutes and forty-four seconds into flight. So a little over two minutes from now, we'll hear. So now we're doing about Seco. fourteen thousand. Uh, sorry, fourteen thousand miles per hour. Until Dragon or is that that's kilometers per hour? Sorry. So apparently, that's apparently second, faster. Like I said, I'm totally ignorant of this stuff, so if I say things wrong, I'm sure y'all correct me in the comments. All good. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen, we should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. Here we go, entry burn. Right here, bam. And there is that entry burn beginning. 
This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two, FTS is saved. Well, that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen Seco. in rapid succession. I don't know what Seco is. It'll be the they're they're speeding up, too. Look at here. They almost said 20,000. There it is, 20,000 kilometers per hour. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco or second engine cutoff. Okay. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy, Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, it would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one line cutoff order. confirmation. And back, Darla, step. And back, shut down. Stage one, one. All right, so here comes second engine cutoff, everybody. Confirmation of Seco second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbital insertion. Launch yeah. confirmation is nominal orbital insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but... Isn't it amazing how, how they can do all this calculation and know exactly where and what time everything is going to happen? Apparently it's landing. All right. Reusable rockets. Yes. The first and part as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their that. targeted orbit. All right, so we got it. It landed. Bam! <laughs> right on the ship, it exactly stop. where it's supposed it to. It does not stop. All right, we did. We did hear again that call out. Good orbital insertion. So we're so rolling. We, we calm down at Falcon twenty-seven right now, exactly thousand kilometers per hour. And looks like we're at. Why is he at this? <laughs> it's it's dinosaur. Like I guess there was a dragon. Indicator floating around there. I know Bob yep. and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> and before separation before dragon initiates separation from the second stage they do make sure to make they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good con condition before we separate okay that's right the you got to see over here small attitude thousands of people just cold comment thrusters built into the rocket body itself Exactly. So we you can hear the guys in the background. They're really excited. I mean, now, extremely excited. And, and rightfully so. Until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Such cool views. I cannot get over this view that we are seeing right now. Bob and Doug on the right screen inside of Crew Dragon out in space. Yeah, already... 200 kilometers over planet earth 200 a little over 124 miles traveling in excess of 2700 meters 27,000 meters per second that's crazy or about 16,000 miles per hour thank you thank you for converting that math because i didn't know 16,000 miles per hour that's ridiculous show. again we're just standing by that separation event should be coming Can up you shortly. imagine that they're going to speed and begin a series of checks on the draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power dragon on its flight to the International Space Station. Standing by for separation. All right, so we're standing by for separation. Let's see what's going to happen here. It sounds like we had an expected LOS loss of signal with one of the ground stations. Waiting for confirmation now of that signal. Dragon okay. separation confirmed. There you go. Dragon separation Oops. confirmed. There is a great view right in front of you. That is amazing. Dragon, Dragon separating. Separation confirmed. And there's that call out. 
Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. That's pretty cool, though. Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and <laughs> wish you a great mission. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F-9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9. And it was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Copy all. Bala, Good I'd luck. like to proud of you guys and the rest of the team uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today putting America back into low earth orbit up from the Florida coast copy out good luck Godspeed alright we lost all our, our instrumentation we don't know where we are we don't know how fast we're going what all right, happened so Bob and Doug are in and space. Dragon SpaceX we confirm nominal equals activation and service section Draco checkouts uh, no scone deploys in progress Copy all. We're monitoring. The core here in Hawthorne giving the crew a heads up that we have confirmation the nose cone is deploying. So again, that nose cone is going to open up a little bit more than 90 degrees, goes up to about, I think, 105 degrees, and that's going to expose uh, the actual docking ring and the hatch that they're going to be going through once they attach to the International Space Station. And also four of those Draco thrusters, we call them the forward bulkhead thrusters, they're going to be used for these major phase burns or firings of those thrusters to actually raise their orbit gradually over the coming hours. Also heard good activation of the ECLIS, that's the Environmental Control and Life Support System. That's everything controlling their atmosphere, uh, just keeping Dragon a nice, safe, habitable environment where they're going to be living for the next 19 hours until they arrive at the space station. Right, exactly, and Falcon 9's job may be done for today, but the mission is not over. Crew Dragon's job is not done. As you can see, Bob and Doug are still inside Crew Dragon making their way. It will be a 19-hour trip to the International Space Station before they dock tomorrow morning. And such cool views. I love that we can get these live views here and see and watch what they're doing now that they are in orbit. Yeah, it's, it's incredible to just be looking over their shoulder to be along for the ride. I'm gonna tell you guys what's not incredible though. And we're gonna be with them. All right, and we're I ain't trying be to be a Debbie Downer or and... anything, but what's not incredible, well, I'm doing a live with you guys from my cell phone and we lose uh, like, you know, connection. How is it these guys can be 190 doggone miles above earth and we can still talk to them? Y'all explain that one to me. Uh, one of the major things we are looking forward to in the next couple of hours yeah, they is practice their social first turn with their at mask the controls. On. So they're actually going to be using those touchscreen displays to take control and manually pilot Dragon. We'll walk you through what that's going to look like. And assuming we have some good ground station coverage, we'll be able to get views from right inside Dragon, looking over their shoulder as they manipulate the controls at the display. But, I mean, it, we had a... A smooth ride uphill, both stages of the Falcon 9 doing their job. This all right, he's awesome. right. This is so definitely you know, a historical that day. Uh, space um, that we've all been talking about. Definitely been talking about it. Everybody's been talking about it. And, um, an hey, successful launch. What can yeah, what can weather, we say? The weather cooperated. Yes. Hopefully this is something Second that brings, you know, job. brings us together <laughs> closer <laughs> as, um, all right. so, day for the as the human race. Okay. As you can see, we have lost some so we out. I'll see you guys next time. The mission.